start with in terms of you know let's just set the stage in terms of how i view health equity is is being able to provide the uh, right opportunity and resources uh, to different populations of people who have different needs and different challenges but uh, developing those resources in a way that is value-based and they help mitigate those challenges and ultimately help us towards the ultimate goal which is to impact uh, our health uh, so just with that notion in mind a lot of people really focus on public health as it relates to health directly but there's risk factors that are involved with achieving health equity and one of the major ones is economic development a lot of my passion is really ingrained into public health so a lot of the things that i do is all about how we can advance and improve uh, our community and in order to do this you have to be a part of the community you have to you know be visible you have to be present you have to have a circle of influence uh, to be able to uh, create the relationships and foster the things that you need to do to move forward so i think the way that we've been doing you know work through uh, pprp innovations has help me really understand different ways that we can practice public health innovation. And a lot of our work has been able to, you know, foster a new future of entrepreneurs that help solve these things that, uh, that are plaguing our community. And through that, you know, we've termed this thing called public health innovation, but through that type of work, it requires further, you know, community outreach and partnership and engagement and fostering positive relationships. Because to be quite honest, the things that we really need, the solutions that's needed to address some of these challenges, I honestly think that, you know, systems of public health can't create them themselves. It has to be developed through the community. And I think we have to be the advocates and the supporters and sometimes the catalysts and the conduits to help bring that possible. Because I think anybody that knows anything that's going on bad in the community is the person that's going through it in the community. So I think as we move forward in the future, uh, a lot more work has to be done, you know, to get that, uh, to achieve those goals. Uh, some of the things that I believe in terms of community needs to help advance health equity is first just looking at, you know, the population that's been growing uh, over these past, what, 5, 10, maybe even 15 years. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with that population, it's a lot of, you know, I guess population change that comes along with it. I think, you know, based on my, my data and things like that, uh, some of the major challenges that, you know, you guys are working with is, I guess, TDs and chronic illnesses and, you know, mental health and crime and homelessness, family violence and drug and alcohol abuse. There's a lot of things going on in the community uh, that comes along with that growth. And the best way to really, you know, address those challenges is to view individually about the population needs, each of the groups of populations and figuring out you know, what type of challenges they're going through and how that aligns with advancing our community health strategy. So in terms of examples to help you know, provide uh, the community some resources and some opportunities to advance health equity, I think you know, one of the first approach that is you know, taking public health and practice in, in the next level, using innovation and technology to do so, uh, most of the population these days are technologically integrated and examples in terms of moving that forward is being able to utilize technology to create different solutions that, you know, individually help different pockets of populations so that we could address some of those needs. Because at the end of the day, in terms of health equity, like I mentioned, there's a number of challenges. And a lot of those challenges revolve back to economic development. So the role that we've been playing currently is just being able to work with these young entrepreneurs and these startups and understanding their challenges and being able to cre create appropriate strategies that then can be used to uh, acquire additional money and resources and things to help moving forward. I think uh, public health innovation is one of the big things 
that a lot of people don't talk about but has been getting some traction and that in itself is an opportunity I think we can pursue collectively to uh, improve and advance health equity for the next you know, decade. So uh, yeah.